year marks the 20th anniversary of the seminal publication, Arts-Based Educational Research by Tom Barone and Elliot Eisner from the Handbook of Complementary Methods for Research and Education. So in honor of Elliot Eisner, who impressed me as one of the most brilliant education scholars of the last part of the 20th century, and in memory of a very interesting evening I spent in his home, encouraging and entreating him to sing the blues, as I played guitar, I composed a song that's a parody by Harold Arden. Uses the technique of erasure poetry to create the new lyrics. The arts tell us something about our own capacities to experience effective responses to life. That the arts evoke, we should try to keep remembering Kaiser seven design elements when we're conducting arts-based research. <laughs> Good art possesses the capacity to pull the person into alternative reality. With the thoughts that I'd imagine, I could create a virtual reality if I'd only thought like Elliot. Oh, I could wax about the presence of ambiguity and expressive and vernacular language or empathetic understanding outside the range of us. And then I'd see the aesthetic form. I'd develop a personal signature beyond a crooning parody and artful inquiry. Then I'd do a four-dimensional criticism and I'd tell it through a story if I only thought like Elliot. Oh, if the aim of educational research is to further human understanding so that we improve the quality of educational practice and write our stories and poetry in empathetic moments, I don't care about validity, person, uh, sorry, I don't care about validity, replicability, and generalization. I focus on the auto and verisimilitude. Oh, as fact is clearly fiction. I consider it all just faction. And now Aver's 20 years old. <laughs> oh, now Aver's 20 years old. I must be getting older. Oh, now Aver's 20 years old. And I still can't write like Elliot. Oh, now Aver's 